Well, crude oil futures have been extending their gains as inventories continue to fall down 4.8 million barrels. For what the latest inventory figures mean going into 2010, Bryson Bickerton is joining us now. He's chief energy strategist of RBS Sempra Commodities, and he's with us from their offices in Stamford, Connecticut. Uh, good morning to you. A, a draw there of 4.8 million barrels, a surprise yep. to the market, a, a surprise based on the survey. What was your reaction? Well, this is definitely supportive of crude oil prices. The market was actually looking for a bit of a snapback in inventories from a, a big draw last week. Uh, there was a thought that some weather driven by fog in the Houston Ship Channel was, was, had lifted and we'd see a rise in oil imports. Uh, looks like that weather pushed into this week's statistics as well, as well. So a bit of a surprise and bullish support for the market. Well, we heard from OPEC this week from oil minister Ali Al Naimi of Saudi Arabia that he sees the sweet spot between 70 and 80 dollars a barrel. We're looking at 76 a barrel today. What's your outlook? Uh, you know, we do believe that OPEC has done just about everything except uh, rent a billboard in Times Square to let the market know they <laughs> like this 70 to 80 dollar range. And, um, you know, uh, statistics like this certainly suggest the market will, will trade near the top of the range as we begin 2010. And we'd look for a price at $78 to $80 in the first half of the year. And then we believe as, as fundamentals tighten up even more in the second half of the year, oil can press higher towards $85 a barrel. So uh, what's driving that call for you? Is it the, the bet that the fundamentals are there, that the economic activity is going to be ticking up and feeding demand? And how much are you factoring in the relationship that we've seen between dollar weakness and crude gains? Well, clearly part of the recent sell-off in crude has been sort of this end-of-year effect and a little bit of an unwinding of the reflation trade and dollar short trades. Uh, we believe that will ultimately break down in 2010 and the market will trade on its own fundamentals. You know, perhaps the more interesting number in this week's statistic, in this week's set of statistics, was the fact that total petroleum drew 14 million barrels across all the different products in the United States. And one of those, which was very interesting, was we saw a 3.4 million barrel draw in propane stocks. Mm -hmm. So it's not just crude oil. We are actually drawing down product stocks really across the slate. Propane stocks. You say propane, I think of summer barbecues. Why, why is that yeah. happening now? Well, you know, propane's an often underlooked element of the petroleum economy. Uh, it represents about 9% of U.S. petroleum demand. And it's really been subject to a bit of a perfect storm in the last two months. It began with a very wet crop season that led to use of a lot of propane to dry out the crop. And then we've had a wave of cold weather here in December that looks like it's going into January. Um, and then at the same time, you've had production constraints because propane is one of the things that's produced out of the refinery system, a refinery system in the U.S. that's running at very low rates. So we've seen a big, sharp stock draw on propane, and it looks like it's going to continue. Interesting. Uh, not something we often talk a lot about when we talk about the energy space. Thank you for highlighting it for us. Um, I do want to quickly ask you here about the degree of geopolitical risk, how you're trying to quantify that in 2010. Some rumblings about Iran, that December 31st deadline uh, placed by the U.N. on them. Given the skirmish that we saw last week into I Iraq by Iran, what are your thoughts here? What are you most focused on in terms of geopolitical risk? Well, you know, I, I think the, the right thing to say is in 2009, the market was so focused on economic events that it really took geopolitical risk out of the price of crude oil. And I think when we look to 2010, the right thing is just to think that as we go through 2010 and the risk of tensions rise around the Iran issue, we'll see more of a geopolitical risk put back into the price of crude oil. And maybe if there's only a dollar of geopolitical risk in that, Maybe it goes back to being a $5 type geopolitical risk put back into, into so oil. So the risk premium may come back uh, yep. along with the fundamentals. Thank you so much, Bryson Bickerton, Chief Energy Strategist at RBS Sempra Commodities.